वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर एल डी एकेडमी दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल नंबर फोर ऑन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस वन प्रॉब्लम एज सोन इन फिगर हेयर यू सी देर आर टू सोर्सेस कनेक्टेड वन इज टू वोल्ट एंड अदर वन इज एट वोल्ट एंड दिस ऑफ ए विथ दिस ऑफ एम सर्किट this 2 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm resistance and here this 3 kilo ohm 3 kilo ohm resistance are connected and with this 5 kilo ohm is connected to ground here and here we need to find out the current flowing through this 5 kilo ohm resistance and we will assume that the op amp is ideal one so we will try to solve this problem in this video now to solve op amp problems you see we are using few concepts before discussing any op amp problems so again we will repeat those things first so first one is virtually connected and this concept you will get if the circuit is having one negative feedback and op amp is ideal with infinite voltage gain then the terminal potential V plus and terminal potential V minus they are becoming same means they are virtually connected so that concept we have used earlier and next important concept is there is no current entering to the off amp and it is due to infinite input impedance of this off amp so we are considering ideal off amp again and input impedance is infinite thus no current can enter here i minus equal to 0 and this current i plus is also 0 means they are not not connected it looks like that they are not as if connected but of m can sense the voltage and it can amplify it okay next one is inverting amplifier and this is a very simple circuit and when the source VI is connected through R1 to inverting terminal then the gain V0 by V1 is given by minus RF by R1 ok so here II is following flowing through this R1 and RF only because there is no current entering to the inverting terminal ok next one is non inverting amplifier where the voltage vi is connected to non inverting terminal here and inverting terminal here it is grounded in that case the gain is given by positive that is 1 plus rf upon r1 so these two we can use it several time we will not derive in our circuit whenever we will find this kind of simple arrangement Now, uh, to discuss actual problem, I will consider first two sub problems. One, there is one source V2 connected here, and other source is not here. Okay, and I will use general resistance, it is R1, R1, and this is your R2, R2, and this is the load resistance RL, and there we want to find out the current, and that is suppose given by IL2. So we need to find out this IL2. This is one problem. And another problem is this one where the source V1 is connected to inverting terminal here and non-inverting is grounded here. Okay. So for that again we will try to find out the current through this load and that is IL1. So first we will try to show that this IL2 will be this one, this V2 upon R2 and IL1 is minus V1 upon again R2. So you can notice that this IL1 and IL2 they are independent of resistance RL, the load resistance. Thus this kind of circuits are called as voltage to current converter. 
So from this voltage source, we can generate one current source which is independent of the load resistance. Okay. So first we will try to prove these two and then we will consider our original problem. Now, first this one I will consider that uh, source is connected here, right? Now here this potential is V0, output potential, and this is V plus. So you see if this potential is V plus, then this circuit, from here only we will get V0. It does not depend on other circuit element. If I consider this potential is V plus, and basically it looks like a non-inverting amplifier where this is the potential V plus and this is the arrangement so we can find out V naught easily so gain is 1 plus R1 by R1 so you see V naught will be the non-inverting gain is this one 1 plus R1 by R1 times this non-inverting potential V plus so it will give you 2 times V plus now we can apply KCL at the node A here. So this potential V plus in terms of V naught we can replace. Right? So what is this? Uh, if I apply KCL here. So one current flow this side, one current flow this side and one is this side. Because there is no current flow here. Okay? No current will enter to the of M. So only three branch current will get it here. That summation will be zero. So you see this one, so this V plus minus V2 upon R2 that is the current through this R2 and source V2. Next one is this one V plus minus V0 this side current okay that is by R2 and third one is IL2 okay the, this three addition is becoming zero. Now I can replace V0 by this expression okay so what you will get you will get this one v plus upon bar 2 and we can you can just break this one v plus upon r2 and this is your v2 upon r2 with minus sign and then v naught is replaced by v plus 2v plus so here you will get v plus minus 2v plus okay then if you simplify it, then what you will get? So first term is V plus upon R2, second term is V2 upon R2 and third term is becoming minus V plus upon R2 and fourth term IL2. So first and third term, they will cancel each other. Okay. And if you simplify it further, then you are getting IL2 equals to V2 upon R2. So it is proved. Okay, so current through RL is IL2 that is only V2 upon R2. So this voltage and this resistance, this current actually if I consider this is 0. Okay, so this voltage upon this resistance will be this current. Right? Okay. Next, this one. When source is connected here in the inverting terminal okay again we'll consider this is a node a and this is your potential v plus okay and we'll consider this output potential is v naught again okay and this time this is grounded now again we can use the same concept right so this potential is V plus this is your V1 source is connected in inverting terminal so there are two sources so here we can use superposition principle so we can consider V1 is acting alone that time uh, V plus is grounded and it will, be, it will act as a inverting amplifier and when V2 V plus is acting alone V1 is not there it is grounded that time the circuit will work as non-inverting amplifier so we can combine these two output voltage together so by using superposition theorem in a single line we can find output voltage 
so the, you see this is your inverting gain minus r1 by r1 this resistance by this resistance with minus sign inverting gain and inverting voltage is v1 non inverting gain is this one 1 plus rf by r1 a in this case r1 by r1 and the non inverting voltage is v plus so it is minus v1 plus 2b plus okay now again we can apply kcl at this node okay so this is your v plus minus 0 upon r2 first term then it is v plus this is your v naught upon r2 and this is your il1 okay this three terms is 0 addition 0 right now we can replace v naught here so if i replace v naught here then you will see you will get this one v1 minus 2 v plus that we have replaced here now we can simplify it further right so v plus upon r2 and il1 and it is v1 upon r2 and it is this two if i combine it is minus v plus upon r2 okay now this two will cancel and then you will get il1 equals to minus v1 upon r2 okay so you have got this two result so we are almost done now i will give you the original problem as a homework problem because everything is already discussed just values you have to put it here and both the source are now connected one source is connected to inverting terminal other one is connected to non-inverting terminal right so you need to find out the current i so you can guess that this current i will be independent of load current load resistance but uh, and again you can find out this current easily and i can give you one hint hint and that is you can use superposition principle so one source is acting at a time then you can find out i1 and other source is acting at a time that is i2 then you can just combine these two together you will get overall current okay so your answer you can post it in, in this comment section i reply i hope uh, if you have not subscribed this channel you are going to subscribe it and to subscribe this channel first you should press your subscription button and then press your, your bell button to get immediate notification of my future videos i hope you have enjoyed my this lecture we will be uploading lots of videos keep watching thank you